It comes in to Meeks. Now Lyndon Jones. Jones being played by Battle. They got all those guards on here. They're going to try to end seconds. Here's Edwards going to try to get a screen. Gets it off. Oh! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! No more time. He hit it as time ran out. He looks like he's behind the baseline. <laughs> this is becoming a habit. But they're not easy shots, Keith. Look at this shot. He looks like he's falling behind the basket. A rainbow J. The only thing missing, I'm going to be really tough on him. Why not a three-point shot? <laughs> oh, me. Look at this. They know he's going to shoot it. They got two guys ready to attack him. Amazing. Where was the left foot? <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. Look at the smile. He says, easy. No problem. No problem. I've been doing it all year. Just call Katie and Frieda up. Well, they had shut him down. They had not given him his They put two just... seconds now back on the clock. And we should make definitely make that point that this game is not over. Look at Bobby. Ah, no problem. Just another day at the office for Jay Edwards. And he put two seconds back on the clock. They're going to try to throw the baseball pass to one of their great jumpers. Remember, the clock doesn't stop. And they're touches it. About 27, 28 feet. Remember, the clock doesn't start until he touches the ball. Look at that. Ball came okay. in. There were two seconds to play. It hit his hands. He whirled around and pumped it in from about 27 feet. Maybe not that far, but certainly long enough. And a valid three-pointer. Here it comes. There's the baseball pass. Here's the One. catch. Clock was a little late starting, and it's an Indiana clock. They got a slow <laughs> clock here in Indiana. <laughs> See, that's where so, the timer does control the clock. Look that's how high Anderson got up. Look at that shot. Incredible. Well, Keith, it's been a great, great Big Ten Ooh. run.